Shalom. Right, Shalom, Shalom is the brother Kadash, the brother Kuna. We'll start off by giving our praises to the Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. We back out here again. Another week, baby. We made it to part two. So, if you don't know by now, if this is your first video watching, um, every camp we're going to break down a book of Revelation. So, we done did a lot of different camps on a lot of different topics. So, the Spirit just got on us just to start doing breakdowns pretty much. So, we just picked the book of Revelation. We said, look, we're going to do chapter one. We already did chapter one, so you can check that out. That's on the page. I'll put it in the folder. It's called, like, the book of Revelations breakdown it's a folder so you can see revelations one on there now we coming back for revelations two so we think this is very edifying because it's like that's what camp is for is to come out here and edify and teach so of course breaking down the book of revelations you know revelations touches on a little bit of everything you know what i mean prophecy you know because like we said last week we doing the end we, we living in the end time so it's for us to come out here and prophesy it ain't so much for us to come out here and you know talk about small things like you know what type of sandals did this brother have on or you know uh, when did this how old was mary or how old was joseph and it ain't really how is that edifying how is that working towards salvation you know what i mean it's knowledge of course and it plays a part in it to understand the ways of the lord that you could deal with a woman you know that way but um really we just got to be prophesying so that's what we want to do is come out here and break down these prophecies pretty much that's what we're going to get straight into in revelations 2 and we just going to go through a four precepts to break down the prophecies like we said last camp and some of these things since we break down each book but each chapter but we in the same book they're going to echo like last week you know what i mean so pretty much we just breaking it down we want to make it plain upon the table so you understand it you know and get precepts to back that up with it. Ready? Yeah, you got the thing. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into it then. Okay, this is Revelations 2. Um, verse 1. Until the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things, saith the. Say. Uh, Salaki, let me start over. Until the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things, say he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Right, so we already went through um, last week the seven candlesticks, the seven churches and the seven angels and everything. Check out that one revelation. So we not echoing so much of the same thing. Right. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars. Right, because you've been... Um, you know, you got the Christian church, you got the Catholic church. I mean, even farther than that, you got the popes, you know, they saying they, they're popes, which they're saying they're leaders, but they really not, you know what I mean? And you've been having these churches set up with preachers, uh, pastors, you know what I mean? And they claiming that they leaders, but they really not, because they not leading the righteousness. They not leading you to follow the way of the Lord. They may teach prosperity. They may teach all type of different things, but they not teaching you to walk as the way the Lord walked, which is follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Aspire to live the way that Yahweh Shai lived, even though we know we can't. But we gotta, like in Judges 5, it talks about rehearsing the righteous acts. You gotta rehearse the righteous acts. Right. Verse 3. And has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Right. Hold on, yeah. Hold it right there. Um, let me see if I got it. Read, read a little bit more on it. Okay, uh, verse 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Right, right, right. So hold it right here. Yeah. This is uh, Galatians 3, verse 28. So we're going to break down a couple of things, try to make it plain upon the table. It says, There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in a Mashiach on Yahweh Shai. If ye be of Mashiach, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So we want to break that down, right? We got that in um, in, um Maccabees chapter 6. Right, so we're going to break that down because, you know, the Christians, and we're going to kind of go in on some of the doctrines they be teaching, right? Christians, these guys call them apostles, 
not our apostles, of course, but, you know, these guys from, like, the Christian church, Catholic church that call themselves that, you know, they tell you that all nations can be saved. That's one of the doctrines that lead people astray. You know what I mean? If you just be, but the part that, and Vocab Malone brought this out, too, and I rebuked Vocab Malone on this, and he kind of came on the comic board, and he was talking shit like, this is this, and this is that, and he was kind of hurt by it, but it got to him. You see what I'm saying? Then I made another video rebuking him even more. You know what I mean? That's just how it got to be. You know, so one of the things he really goes in on is Galatians 3, what I just read. But the problem that he's missing, that he continues to miss, is verse 29. It says, if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs. But it says, according to the promise. So he says anybody that believes in the Lord could be um, pretty much saved. They're part of the body of the church, the Israelites. Back out here? Yeah, I come down here just to see if y'all was here. I'm gonna see how consistent they is. Y'all been we very yeah, consistent. Weekend, I didn't know if y'all pick different spots or whatever. No, we be right here every week. We been down here. Um, this brother been down here for like a year. I've been coming down here for like two years. Oh, okay. Yeah, we was in a different spot, but we moved here probably like a year ago. So okay. then we just be out here. I tried here. to Google y'all, but I couldn't remember the everything. But I did get to some infants, uh, Israelites. Some Israelite whole, videos. Yeah, a whole yeah. bunch of other cats. They was from all over the world. Yep, right. yeah. So you see that it's a big community. Yeah. And that yeah. we really just a part of a body. You right. know what I mean? Right. So it ain't like we just um, start reading the Bible ourselves and just start making up things and coming out here teaching. It's really a part of a bigger body. You know, we got elders, apostles, and stuff like that. Big brothers on down, down, and on down the line. And we just oh. a part of the body. Okay, but uh, this the uh, this the uh, and I know you're gonna get there no matter what you do. You're gonna have your haters. A lot of it was on some hater raid stuff on the Israelites. This yeah. guy said this. He he crucified himself, so to speak. It's right? different camps, and there'd be you know there'd be differences between the camps, and they'd be going back and forth and stuff like that. Yeah. Some of some of the main teachings that we all agree on is that we are the Hebrew Israelites, right? That's one of the main teachings that we all agree on. Um, salvation is only for Israel, right? You can read that through Bible um, to say prophecy. So through prophecy, prophecy is um, different prophets getting these visions of what's going to happen in the future. And then they explain it, the angel comes down and explain these visions. And pretty much in all these visions, it's saying like, look, Israel, Israel going to get this, Israel going to get that. The Lord is coming back for vengeance because of what happened to so we all agree on that, things like that, and we all agree on the Lord um, name, like Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, we agree on things like that. And then there's like little differences in some of the families, so like when they keep the Sabbath, like some believe it's Friday, sundown to Saturday, so now we go off the moon, right? Because if you didn't have America's calendar, how would you be able to discern the time? So in Genesis chapter 1, the Lord said he put the stars, the lights in the um firmament there as times for the time, days, months, weeks, you know. I think the word month goes back to um like um moon or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so uh, and see. like uh the Hebrew word uh uh quad not quad that's like uh it's spelled like C H A D D E S H or something it's, it's like a that. Form of yeah, yeah Kadash. Yeah, so we just Which means new moon. But it's just some little small differences, but what you about to say? Oh, I seen somewhere, and I don't know where I seen it. It's been so long ago, but it said it was a time that there was no such thing as time. Right. And this yeah. Oh, it's two o'clock. Yeah, uh, because no, those men live longer. And see, in the kingdom, we gonna live forever. Because the only reason why we died, that was a curse that was put on Adam. Right? Adam sinned, and then he was able to die. Before they sinned, they weren't. They weren't able to die. So in the kingdom, that's why it says we're going to have everlasting life. Wow. So the Lord is going to give us that power. It says those new bodies are incorruptible and um, indestructible uh, bodies, um, immortal bodies, yeah, immortal. immortality. So the Lord, he had victory over death. He raised them back up. Wow. So he said, we're going to get that same power when he comes back then. We're going to get victory over death. Wow. And then you really ain't going to be counting your days because you're going to live forever so long. Wow. So you ain't going to be counting my day. Oh, I'm 100 years old. Okay, I'm a 200 years old. And the kingdom is going to be everlasting. But, so, it just seems like everything that y'all teach is just what's just the same thing as in the regular Bible. Like in a regular, I mean, like in most religions. 
generally be the same. It might be like, say, Jehovah's Witness might have something that's like, ooh, it's way off base. But a lot of the religions seem to be the same, and you always hear people say, religions are pretty much the same. They just got different names for, for Jesus and different names for God, like Muslims. It's, diff it's, it's a little bit different because some people believe that anybody could be saved. We believe that Israelites only could be saved. Some people don't believe that America is going to be destroyed. We know America is going to obviously be destroyed. So oh, yeah, this, uh, this guy right here is very well Israel, the nation. Before. Yeah, I yeah, I remember talking to you. Uh, you checked out some of the things? Oh, you were spot on, bro. Yep. I knew what you were talking about. It's my birthday today. Uh, yeah. and, uh, Happy birthday. I can stay talking about it. Okay, yep. Hit me up. Yeah, appreciate it. Yep. Been down here for a while. But um, we believe that it's Israel only. But see, the thing is about Israel is Israel is scattered into right. all nations. So a lot of people interpret that as anybody could be saved. It's not that anybody could be saved. You got to come from the bloodline. It's a chosen bloodline. That's why the Bible speaks of The Bible speaks of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If it was just anybody, it wouldn't mention Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham had Isaac, his son. But he had more sons. He had Ishmael, but Ishmael was cast out. That's who the Muslims, the Arab, they go back, their line goes back to Ishmael. Right. He was cast out. Um, Isaac had two sons. He had Esau and Jacob. And Esau sold his birthright. So he can't be saved because he sold the birthright. So you get that through reading the Bible. You get that understanding. I was going to say, man, I just, that clarifies the point that I just made. That's different than the regular yeah. Bible. It's, it's in the Bible though yeah. People just take it Because see the Lord gave the knowledge and wisdom to his people But this is the tricky thing about it is, is We don't really have no authority Because the world doesn't look at us as authority So the exact people that the Lord gave The understanding to be able to break this Bible down Are, are going to be the meek of the earth And that's why the Lord is going to come back And he's going to glorify us right. So everybody look towards the Pope and stuff like that Scholars. Those aren't man of the Lord the true man of the Lord are at the bottom. But since we're at the bottom, we have the curses on us and everything. Nobody's going to look to us for the truth. And that's the big trick. Just like during the time of Noah. Noah was out there trying to warn people. It's going to be a great flood. So they, ain't nobody want to listen. All right. But Noah and his sons were saved. You see? So that's how the Lord has it set up. You know? So we just believe it's only Israel. You know? Right. Because the, that's what it, the prophecies say. The prophecies say the Lord is going to come back and save Israel. And that's why like they try that. to um, look at us as a hate group. Right, because yep. like you was just saying, most of the religions is preaching the same thing, and they preaching it's all love, all this. The um, the Lord come back, He's gonna save everybody. You know, He's um, He's not coming to destroy this place, but we teaching, you know, the the um, the whole Bible. Yeah, right? we giving them the whole. They road. just so teach the sweet parts. Yeah, yeah. Well, we the teaching the sweet and, and the bitter parts. Nobody yeah. wants to hear that America is gonna be destroyed. They think this place is gonna last forever. They don't want this place to be. It's same. It's same thing when the Israelites was in Egypt and we were in slavery in Egypt. Us. Did nobody want to hear our oh, Egypt, the greatest place on earth, the gold, the pyramids was gonna be destroyed? Did nobody want to hear that? But it happened. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So the Lord builds up these nations so He could be glorified, just like during the time of Egypt, His name was glorified. Yeah. Even when Joshua and them made it after the 40 years in the wilderness, when they made it back to the land. Lord name is still glorified. People are still talking about, oh, that's the Lord God of Israel. He did that to Egypt. Thank so it's the same thing with America. It's the best nation, the more most advanced nation Earth has ever seen, the best military, best economy. So how much is our Lord name going to be glorified when he takes out the top dog? When the Lord comes back, he's not going after the little guns. He's coming after the top dog on the seat. And he's taking that seat and putting the crown on. That's why the Lord got to come. If this place was righteous and good, why the Lord need to come back? He's coming back because he's coming back to destroy it, to make the world righteous. And then just like we were saying with the thing about living forever, it's not too far-fetched to see because some people be like, man, that's like sci-fi or something like that. It's not too far-fetched to see because you can look at, man, today they're trying to do it. They're right. trying to come up with ways to make you live forever. They come up with ways to take your um your consciousness and put it in a chip and put yeah. you in a robot, you know, and they cloning right. you. They got the metaverse. So they're trying to figure out ways a corner way to make that everlasting life. Oh, your grandparents died, but you could see them in the Optimus. You put the headset on, and they're living in there. And they download their consciousness. And look at the movie Avatar. So they put it in all their movies because that's what they desire to get. So, of course, if this man could even get close or try to get close to doing that, of course you know the Lord could do it. 
Right. So it's not too far fetched a thing. Just like what was that um, um one of the Rothschilds? He had like nine or ten open heart surgeries. So every time his heart would go bad, he'd get surgery and get a new heart from other people. Of course, that's where the heart's coming from. He get a new heart. He did that like I think nine or ten times before he finally died. That was him trying to escape death. You see, trying to live forever. So they, and the only reason why they have it in their mind to even think of we gonna try to live forever is because they're copying off the Lord. They're trying to get that yeah, birth. They read right the Bible. They know the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Everything the they do is is coming. They they want to go into the heavens and stuff because the Lord is gonna give us power to go into the heavens. And they know that the Lord lives. The Lord is up there in the heavens, the sky. They call it space, which is really just the heavens, upper heavens. And the so they're trying to get past the firmament so they can get up there with the Lord to love that. Everything they're trying to do, they're trying to do it with their technology in a carnal way to be like the Lord. But the Lord does these things in a spiritual way. Right. It's like the Bible says, man, will destroy themselves yep. with all this technology. Because yep. they want to keep pushing the envelope to get that blessing. They want to, the kingdom of heaven that the Lord's going to give us, they're trying to make that for themselves. They're trying to create it. They could be good right now. Like the, the banker families, they got all the money. They got all the power in the world. They got power over any one of us. If they wanted me or you to disappear tomorrow, they could do it. Who is this? The, the banker families. The people who own the money, it's the people that's in control. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like the Masons, the Freemasons, exactly. all the Illuminati. Yeah. Illuminati. The yeah. Rothschilds, like you just mentioned. Yeah, the Rothschilds, Rock Charles, Rockefellers, the uh, Chase, yeah. all that. You know, the families that own the money. They own, they really run stuff behind the scene, not your oh. president, your government. Exactly. They get paid. You know what I mean? Yeah, the people who's paying them, the people who's own that money is the ones that controls everything. Right. They're right. trying to create heaven. They're not good with just having all the money. They want to have power over you. They want to have God-like power over you. They yeah. want you to be a slave to them. And then that brings us to the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast. They want to put that chip in everybody. Right. See, when they take away cash, because they did it, remember they was using gold. Then you have money come in, cash, fiat currency, paper. And, but it was used to be backed by gold. You're supposed to be able to take it to your bank, turn it in, get your gold. Then they took, then they ain't got the gold no more. Now you're just dealing with the cash. Now they finna get rid of the cash and they finna go towards digital currency. That's why you see Bitcoin so big right now. Wow. Now, guess what? That's giving them power. Now, people think it's convenience. People is trading in their power for convenience. Okay, we ain't got to carry cash around. We ain't got to spread germs have pandemics so we just gonna use everything on the internet so that gives them power because guess what if you go against a society they cut you off you take the chip you scan when you go to walmart you get your groceries you scan your hands you pay for all your groceries right. but guess what if you go against the government they can turn your chip off guess what you can't do nothing we ain't got cash anymore everybody take chip in order for me to give you money i have to be able to transfer it from my chip to your chip all the way so now if you yeah, turn my chip off, collapse. yeah, the dollar, that's yeah. what they trying to collapse it. That's yeah, why the prices collapse. are going up with gas, they going to war. Yeah. Yeah. The government yeah. keep an eye on every move you make because you got this. You got yeah. 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 Be a it's it's, there. it's all on the go. internet. Yeah. It's all on the internet. They could get on the internet and they could they could get on the cloud, the iCloud, whatever, and they could see everything. They could see every transaction that everybody made. They right. pull your chip up. They got your medical information. They got all your information about you. They can see every transaction that you did. They can see everything you bought. You know what I mean? And then when they put the chip in you, it ain't like you could just send somebody with your phone to go buy something. So they know that it had to actually be you there that made that person. Because it's in you. Wow. You see what I'm saying? And then if they cut you off and turn you off, guess what? You can't buy nothing. No yeah. You can't sell them. You cast out of society. Yeah. Eat, and that's the mark of the beast, and it's beast about that in Revelation 13. As a matter of fact, get Revelation 13 so he can hear it, so he can actually hear it himself. You know, so okay. what happens is, is you, you cast out now. You can't do nothing. I can't go to the bank. They cut my chip off. I can't go to the bank. I can't go buy groceries. I can't do nothing. I can't buy gas. They cut me off. Okay, let me throw this in here real quick. Uh -huh. On a whole nother level. Uh -huh. You see, I'm on a different bike. Oh yeah, you I know, ain't even noticed. Yeah, you know, I, I got new bikes, so uh, like, tires. I was here. And you said, uh, "That's what I need. I need to get me a bike, man, so I can give me some exercise yeah, and this and that." So long, so short. The other bike is for sale. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta check it out. But yeah, it's nice, man. I spent some money on that bike. I paid four hundred for the bike you. Oh yeah, dude. And then I spent money putting new tires on it, putting new handle grips, putting all <laughs> type of. I you the first person I ever heard that spent four hundred dollars on a bike. Man, you'd be surprised. <laughs> now, that's cheap. 
<laughs> yeah, I you bet. can't. The only place in, in that I know of in America that you can go buy a bike for a hundred dollars, a hundred twenty-five, fifty dollars is Walmart. It's Walmart. And yeah. they bikes look real nice, but they don't uh, perform well. No, it's like riding a dinosaur. They got. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I went to the bike shop. I hear you. When I bought this bike, I go to the bike shop and uh, it's a dude out there with a clean bike. And I looked at the bike, me and my brother, he said, hey, yo boy got a sharp bike. I'm like, yeah, yo, he's a sharp. I said, it's probably a Walmart bike. It wasn't but five. The owner know me, so he know I worked at Walmart. Right. right. He said, uh, hey, man, uh, I can't even fix this bike. It's so messed up. And it was brand new. He said, how long do you got to take a bike back to Walmart? I said, I told you that was probably a Walmart bike. I said, oh, you got forever. They'll, they'll take it back. Read that for us so you can hear it himself. Revelation 13, verse 14. And deceiving them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Right, so he he was able to deceive the world. Remember when America, um, when they dropped the atomic bombs on um, Japan, right? So that was like almost like magic. Ain't nobody never seen nothing like that during the time. So that put them on the map. When America did that and they dropped them atomic bombs, all the other nations around the world recognized their power. Oh, this is a super power. He was bad. They had dropped an atomic bomb. Yeah. They got that power. They took them down. So he was able to get his power and get his claim, like his name. Right. Keep going. Verse 15. And then it says that Delhi wounds still because this is this is Rome all over again. So Rome went down. Right? And it came back and now they just call themselves Caucasian, America. You know, you trace all the way back America. The Americans, there's a rulership really come from like Britain. Then you got some over here from Spain or Europe and stuff like that. If you trace all the way back, they are the Romans. It's the same people that was the same people ruling America, his people. It's the same people that was in rulership in Rome. So they came back. They went down and then they came back and reinvented themselves. That's why when they came back in power, after the dark ages, they knew who to come get. They came and got us, put us in slavery. They remembered they had that vengeance on their heart. And they wow. said, we're going to come back. That's why when you go downtown, like the Capitol building, all that, the way it's built, that's Roman architect. That all goes back to the Roman, you know, even on your money and stuff. All that goes back to Rome. That architect is the same people. Right. They just call themselves something different to us. Verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's what they're that's what they're about to do. They want that total control over. You gotta get down with what we get down with. You see, you got the whole thing going in court with the abortion. Some people think this way. Some people think that they don't like all that. They want you to go with what the government, what the system is telling you to go with. They want you to be servants, slaves. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So say you had a mark in your hand or your right hand or your or your forehead, right hand or your forehead. So you see these different companies, just like the man Elon Musk. He's coming up with something called a narrow chip. It puts it in your forehead, but you can see the technology with the Alchemist, the little virtual reality set. So just like when the phone first came out, you ain't have nothing like this. At first, it was a flip phone. Then they advanced that technology. So those shades, you know, are going to be advanced. What can they be advanced to? They could possibly be advanced to contact lens. You don't need the shades no more to get on the virtual reality. Now you can just put a contact lens on. The then they go invest that technology. You don't even need a contact lens. You ain't got to take it out. You can just put a chip in your head. And then you can just get on the internet from your head. Right. From just thinking it. You can get on the internet. So I they go on a commercial, matter of fact. Yeah, they got a new commercial now with the virtuality yeah. stuff where uh, uh, y'all might have seen the commercial. One of them, they showed this doctor. So the doctor can perform surgeries uh, nine or ten times before they actually do the real surgery. Oh, yeah. And they show them you can 
they show some little kids going like the stuff you study in history class. They could get on to put the virtual things on, actually stand next to Abraham. Yeah, they could go to the basketball game. They front row the basketball game, but they sitting at home. There it is. You see, yeah. and see, they giving you, they trying to give you godlike power. But then at the same time, people don't understand that they're gonna be able to control it. They're gonna right. be able to, the same way you're gonna be able to go on the internet, they're gonna be able to send things to your mind. Right. To put you in that zombie state and everybody in that zombie state to follow their agenda, which is wicked agendas. Like they're doing world. now with the, with the subliminals in the commercials. And the com yeah. Hey, you run out the Pizza Hut and you just left the buffet, but you like, man, I'm not. Yeah. That pizza yeah. looks right. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And then even so much more, when they get a chip in your head, now they could just send it directly to your head. You thinking things that you wouldn't even think. Yeah, yeah. just constantly thinking shit. You walk right. down the street, next thing you know, they sending signals to your head to go do this, to go do that, to go buy this, to go buy that. Yeah. You know we'll run out and get it, because so uh, really it'll be a way of getting high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you man, that ain't even my thoughts. Yep. But I see, I feel you, yeah, you yeah. become a robot. Definitely yep. control you, so that's, that's the MOTV. But see, the thing is, it's when they collapse that money, all hell comes and people are here suffering. That's why the gas prices is going up. They want to make people suffer. So you could be accept so you could accept them giving you that chip. Right. So when they come with it, it's gonna look like it's help. Right. You're gonna be like we suffering. Ain't nobody got no money, ain't nobody got no jobs, food is inflation, hyperinflation, food is cost something that costs three dollars for a pound of beef is twenty dollars now. Our money ain't worth nothing, so people are gonna be so desperate that they gonna come with a solution. When we come with a solution, we come with a whole new system. And then everybody, just like during the pandemic, we can't really speak of that on the camera because YouTube would take our video down. But just during the pandemic, you know, the thing that was going around that everybody was catching. And then they had the other thing come around, you know, to, to give you so you could be immune to it, right? So just like everybody went and got that. Now we ain't getting, we good. Ain't nothing wrong with us. No health problem. Nothing like we good. We ain't get it. But they had you thinking if you don't get it, you was gonna going to be fucked up. Now, right. now, all the people that went and got it, you seen all those cars lined up at all those different stations to go get it and stuff. Right. It's going to be the same thing with the mark. That's what a, that, 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 that was a pre, that was a forerunner for it. That was a test. Right. So now they're going to come with the real thing and you're going to see the same thing. You'll see everybody lined up to go get it. Let me go get my chip. Let me go get my chip. Oh, I need to get my chip so I could be a part of the system. I need to get my chip so I could be able to buy and sell, so I could buy food. This is a new system. I got to go get my chip. You're going to have people try to hold off. I'm not getting that stuff. But check this but out. just like, like during the pandemic, like they you, voted. Okay, but like you said, with the desperation, you're going to get desperate. I'm going to be like, man, I got to get this chip. Just like the shot. That's what I was Yeah, yep, just like the shot. When you see yep. all these millions and millions of people who done died from the COVID, that puts you in a desperate state of mind. Yeah, yeah. And you like, man, I need to go down and get that shot, man. Yeah, and, and 2,000 people just died. Yeah, and you want to know the problem? Dying after getting the shot. And, but let's, yeah. not, let's not say it on YouTube. Yeah. But let me ask you this, and this is a serious question here. Now, I'm talking to both of y'all. Say, the, say uh, we get down, get to the end of the time, which we're already there, but I mean to what uh, what we talking about yeah. now. And you ain't eight in two weeks. You starve, you got wife and kids, all y'all starve. Give hey, Matthew six. You gonna buy you down? Gonna, <laughs> gonna tell you right now. I was gonna say, how you gonna get past now? Cause I, now I, I say this in a joking way, but it's really serious. No, it's serious. That's I love a good to question. eat. That's a good question. I, I don't even fast. You bam it. Can you fat? Nah, I ain't never fast a day in my life. I like to eat. First of 24. So I said, that's, a, hey, that's gonna be the biggest test that's for me a, that there is. That's the temptation. And that's a great question because men don't want to lose their wives and you got kids and you your kids want, are yeah. suffering and can't eat. Read that. Matthew I can answer this for you, but I want to I want to see how a person get by it when they start feeling weak and feeble minded. That's and, a beautiful and question. Like, man, I'm no hungry. I ain't no man can hungry. serve two oh, masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and men. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. It is not the life more than me and the body the and the body the remnant behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into barns yet their heavenly father feedeth them are ye not much better than they keep going verse 27 which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his unto his statue and why take ye thought for remnant 
Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore is God so clothed, the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven? Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of, of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek before your, before your heavenly Father, knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So answer, take no thought, have faith. It says, oh, no, no, faith. You gotta have faith. And that's, and that's beautiful because that explains why we're all here. It said, look, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first, and all these things should be added unto you. That's the trick. Yeah, you know, when everybody people. else out here trying to take the chip to get the food, to get the water, to get yep. their clothing, we out here doing what we're doing right now, teaching the word. Right. We seeking the kingdom by doing this. We trying to please our, our Lord is watching us. You know, the chariots up in the sky, the Lord can have an angel and a chariot up in the sky we can't see and is watching everything right now. Right. Watching, just beaming down on you. They, they say, what are UFOs doing? They just flying around. No, they watching. They're the eyes of the Lord. They're going to and fro the whole earth, keeping time from everything. They're looking down, they're watching. That's what they're doing. They're not just here, just running around and you know, the jets and see them, but I just see them. They've been here. They're why they always been here since the beginning of time. Wow. They're watching us. Exactly. It's oh, for wow. them not to be seen. That's why they don't show themselves. It's wow. for them to watch us. Wow. So they watch us. They 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 know who the Lord is sealing his elect. It talks about that in Revelation 7. He knows who's doing his work. He knows who he have elected to be saved. Wow. So when that destruction comes and all hell break loose, we're gonna have faith that our Lord gonna take care of us. And our Lord gonna take care of his elect, who he wants to take care of. But that's the test. Okay, you can't so serve two masters. So, let's say a person is super religious, got big faith, big faith. But, back to what I was saying, you get, as you get hungry and you ain't ate, you ain't getting nutrients, and you ain't getting stuff to your body, your mind gets feeble. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't think rationally like you did, and you're feeling like uh, your faith starts to diminish, in other words. Okay. Those people just, even though, well, I, I, kind of like from what you just said, those people must not be the select ones that the Lord select. True, because the elect, the elect was chosen before the earth was made. Okay. So right. the beginning Let and the end that. was made at the same time. The Lord already knows. So right. you predestined. True that. You True see that. what I'm saying? So the elect ain't going to get weak. They're going to have faith. It's, yeah. it's all about your faith, you know. You got to have faith. All the apostles. So that's what reading this Bible does. Reading about what the apostles went through, reading about what the disciples went through, when you're reading about what the prophets do. That's what coming out here does. We're building up our faith. Right. You see what I'm saying? So when this time comes, we're not going to be weak in the faith if, if that's the Lord's will. Because we didn't build it up. We didn't already prepared ourselves. Right. We've been talking about this for years mentally. The end's coming to end. The people are going to be hungry. It's going to be famines, wars, pestilences, diseases, earthquakes, missiles, nukes. We've been preparing ourselves. We've been telling ourselves this for the last two years. So wow. when it's come, we're going to be already waiting for it. But how do you ready. know that you're not the one who, who's faith and you don't That's going to fail. Yeah, you don't know. Many, don't are, know. many are called you're chosen. Just All like you, you said, only a few going to get in yeah, yeah, and yeah. it'll be more going to hell than the... Uh, it's going to be more. Two-thirds of our people here in the land are going to die. One-third is going to be saved, but that one-third is millions. Right. You see? Because I'm going to give you a better example. Let's say somebody that's super religious. It ain't about being super religious. I mean, it's about got big faith. Faith in who the Lord chooses. Okay, yeah. right. So, say this person felt like they are one of the chosen. Mm -hmm. And they come down with cancer. Mm -hmm. Got faith way bigger than a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. Got faith bigger than a watermelon seed. Yeah, whatever. And they all, I'm going to beat this, you know, because I got faith. And the Lord knows my heart. He's watching your fam and everything else. But then... I would say two things. You got the resurrection. So those that are dead, that already passed, they're going to be risen back up when the Lord comes. 
they gonna be first. They gonna go into the. They gonna be with the Lord first. You got martyrs that's gonna die for the Lord. They gonna be. They gonna get their crowns first too. And then you got the elect that's gonna actually be saved by the charities. They gonna get their crowns too. So it just goes about who the Lord chooses. That's why it's called the elect. Who's elected to be saved? And the Lord is the only one that has the say of who's gonna be elected to be saved. But I will say this. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, like that's what we say. There hopefully, you go. Yeah. hopefully. Yeah. But this is the thing. That, but what I will say is right because of what the Bible says. Um, First John, I hear I find it. Um, these, this is our example. So we trying. It says every man must work out his own salvation. So how do we work out our salvation? We don't know how to. We do because we got the examples of what the prophets did. We know that Peter is one of the elect. We know that Paul is one of the elect. We know that Yahweh Shai is Yahweh Shai, the Lord of Lord, the Alpha the Omega. So we got him in the accounts of him in his Bible. See, that's why I love that you answer that because I love when people say, I don't follow the Bible. Why would I follow the Bible? You, How can you not follow the Bible? This is the example. Where are you going to get the examples from? So we try our best to live as these men live and walk as these men walk. Because we already got an example of Yahweh Shai. He's the perfect example. Who the world calls Jesus, he's the perfect example. We know he's going to be there. It's his kingdom. So it's for us to try to do what he did to the best of our ability so we can get the same results. Right? Don't that make sense? If you see a man who wins first place in a race, you're going to try to do what he did so you can possibly get first place. Yeah. Just like the scriptures say, um, due diligence, or just roughly paraphrasing, um, due diligence to make your calling an election sure. Sure, yeah. Gotta right. be so diligent, just like that brother said. He said diligent. Yeah, okay. you gotta be diligent. So how you feel about this? Mm -hmm. You hear people say the Bible was written by man. I would say, yeah, these are men. I mean, Jude, John, I mean, okay. Paul, they're men of the Lord. Okay, so it's like, and, and believe it or not, I got this from uh, Eddie Griffin mm -hmm. on doing a stand-up. Right. And he was telling me, talking about, he was making jokes, of course, but he was talking about how we, how God is black and turn water into wine, mm -hmm. and how we uh, are kings because God made us in the image of him. So his take was, therefore, we and God act alike. We made from him. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're God. Yeah, we are God. Okay. There's a most high God. So we're God. Right. God's the king power. Right. We're so, power. So his other take was when you look at scriptures like Adam, Genesis, uh, just all the different scriptures, he said, these are men, Luke. This is their God. You ever heard somebody say history just his story? That's what, that's his story. Yep. So that's what he was saying is that all these, all the scriptures in the Bible are, are written by man. Jacob wrote this, all these pages, Luke wrote all those pages. That's what they got from. But there's a true history, a true account of history, which is the Lord's account of history. Right. You're only going to find that in the Bible. You see? No, and that's what he was talking about. The God, the yeah. people in the Bible, Luke, yep. all the different, uh, Prophets. Prophets. No, well, all the different scriptures in the whole Bible, from uh, from Luke to what's that? Uh, first Timothy three. And he's saying this is their take on how they looked at it. Yeah, so see, that's his opinion. But see, the thing is, the thing is, and it's the same question because you ask like it's the same question people ask: What makes a prophet a prophet? Anybody call himself a prophet? How do you know they're really a prophet? It's if the things that they're saying. Are that's the big thing about it, is that the things that these males were saying could be verified. They found Noah's Ark. You might have to do some research. When you get on YouTube, just look up Noah's Ark or whatever. You're going to see it. They found it. We know the pyramids are there. We see that land is destined. Now, they building a city around it, of course. But we see that something happened in Egypt. You know what I mean? You got the accounts of it, you know? So these accounts, and then you got prophecy. So these men are saying this is going to happen in the future. We see those things happening. And he, the Lord preached, uh, he said, going on his way close to the end, not the end, but close to the end, that it be famines, right? We've seen the famines start to come, shortages. He, uh, he said it be uh, pestilences, which is diseases. We just got out of pandemic. He said it be wars, rumors of wars. The Bible speaks about World War III, all the nations. We know there's going to be a World War III. 
so you can see these things so it, it validates what these men said what it was written because right. when these things come true it's like john had it right exactly what john said things, a lot of things that you see and i tell people and don't get me wrong i'm not going against the book these are just questions that i have yeah you know that's my head <coughs> and it's like uh you hear people go into a panic like when the uh, Millennium came. Everybody was out passing out. Save yourself. Uh, you know, the world's coming to an end. And da 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 da. Look at like what we seen. Look at all what we see going on with wars and you know, pandemics and all this stuff. But then when you look back, you like, you know what? That's been going on since the beginning of time. I remember that stuff when I was in grade school. But then you gotta ask yourself why. In the Bible, but then it took us to get grown. To really see it, because as a kid, you didn't. It didn't phase you. Let, let me ask you this. I'll, I'll prove something to you. Read that real quick, and then let me ask you this question. All right. First Timothy three and sixteen. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. That's sixteen. Go to uh, two. Second Timothy two. 16. Two and sixteen. Yeah, it might be that. Big. Like what is the UFO? What would is you, what? If I ask you what is the UFO, what is it? What would you say? Well, now, I identify, I now, now, if I ask you uh, to identify, what is it? What would you say? What would you say? What, what would you say they are? Oh, what would I say they are? Yeah. Uh, Aliens. Would, or yeah. I, maybe you don't believe in it. There you go. You see what I'm saying? But the answers is in the Bible, and that's what I'm getting to. You can get the answer to what that is. I could read you here. I could read you one right here. All scripture is inspired by the Lord, which that pretty much what it says. What it says. Uh, so who wrote it? I mean, who's the uh, the authors? These guys see King James, right? Which is an Israelite. He had the text, the Hebrew text, translated so we got the Lord put the Spirit on him. Because the Lord knew we would be in slavery, we'd be in captivity. It talk, talks about that in Deuteronomy. We'd be a place, we have our heritage ripped away, our language and everything. So King James was an Israelite, but he was a Moor during that time. He was a king over there in um, the Europe area, right? And that's where the King James Bible come from. He has scholars coming together. Hebrew scholars are people, right? And Greek scholars, because we were speaking Greek too. And he had them come together and translate the Bible to what you call Old English. So now we have it today, you know. So we believe that he's an Israelite and the Lord put the Spirit on him. It, it all goes by faith to answer your To fully answer your question, it's all going to go by faith, you know. And then we're going to see who's proven who right on Right now, back to the chariots, right? I can read you a count in the Bible right here. Zechariah 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying rope. So we know during this time, there was no such thing as helicopters, no such thing as drones. No such thing as planes. So when he said, I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying rope. What is he talking about? What would you call something during that time that's flying in the sky? You would call it a UFO, right? It's an unidentified flying object, right? Now this is plain to you what it is, if I can get back to it. Verse 2. And he said unto me, what seeth thou? And I answered, I see a flying rope. It's right here in the Bible. How do you spell rope? R-O-L-L. -L. Oh, flying rope. Right? It says... The length thereof, so he giving you the length, he giving you the, the, the size, the, is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. Why is it a curse? Because those chariots are going to come back and fight. They're going to take down the rulership and the power of the earth, the militaries, the kings of the earth. Get that in Revelation 19, I think it's going to it says, for everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as it as on this side according to it. So everyone that stilleth was an America stone, they gonna be cut off. It says, and everyone that swear shall be cut off as on this side according to it. So it's telling you, it's the angel. The angel came out the chariot, and he's telling you, like, look, this is what this chariot is. You um, heard about Ezekiel's will? Uh, Ezekiel 1, Ezekiel's will is just talking about a UFO. 
right? So our people decide to say, well, man just made that, we don't follow it, but you don't even understand, but, uh, not you, but a lot of people don't understand that the, the people that's ruling the earth, they know this Bible. They going off, they making their plans based off this Bible. But this, like, they getting prepared based off, why, why you think they came with Space Force? People be like, okay, they just came, randomly came with a Space Force. No, they came with a Space Force to get prepared to go to war with the Lord, Revelation 19. So now you say, you read that before us, um, I'll read that, read that. So what, hold on real quick. So would you say, what, what would you say a flying roll was? A flying roll? It's called a chariot of Israel. I get it for you. Uh, read that real quick. That's the angels. The angels, the angels fly in, in those chariots. And I'll read it for you. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for, recorrect, for correction, for instruction, and in righteousness. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All scripture, right? Now get that Revelation 19. I think at verse 19, I'll pop the top of the head with it, and then I get this for you. Uh, you said 19, 19. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Revelation 19, 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So would you be for the armies of the earth? It just said the armies of the earth will fight against the Lord. The beast, and read it over again. Revelation 19, 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. The kings of the earth, the rulers of the earth. They call themselves presidents, premiers, leader, rulers, whatever. Right, keep going. And their armies NATO. gathered yep. together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. You can leave it right there. So... What's gonna happen? They gonna go to war against the Lord. So when you see fighter jets and missiles fighting against UFOs in the sky, then you will remember this conversation and you will know those brothers are right in the Bible. Revelation 19, 19. You remember, look, the armies of the earth is gonna go to war against the Lord. That's why they set up space force. So they can go, they, they get prepared to go against the war against the Lord. But they gonna tell you and us that it's aliens invading the earth. Just like the movie Independence Day, Will Smith. Remember that one? Yep. Where do you think they got that from? They got it off the Bible. They got that, they literally got that from the Bible. The concept of that, whoever directed that movie, he got the concept of that from the Bible. Yeah. A lot of movies are like that. And that's why I'm trying to tell you. You, our people don't want to read the Bible, but they read the Bible. Right, Some yeah. of your favorite movies is based off Bible. Uh, and it's yeah, I was going to say, the when Avengers, you earlier with Bible. the Speaking of Will Smith, when uh, him and Gene Hackman, he's talking about how they see everything. Yeah. Remember, I don't know the name of that movie. Uh, when Will yes. Smith they had that chip in him and he was taking off his clothes, he was running uh, for his life. Uh, uh, the uh, enemy of the state? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Enemy of the yeah. state. And they, like you said, when I first seen them, um, they were showing from, a, from way up. Like with all these phone towers and all this stuff, how they watch everything we was doing. Yeah, I was yeah. like, that's real. That was that's an old movie. Yeah. And I'm like, they showing you right then. And, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And then you want like to tipping around, thinking you selling uh, whatever you're yeah, doing. They're watching, watching you. And that enemy of the state is it, it is based off us. That's yeah. gonna be us. Yeah. He prophesying of what the elect, hopefully elect, and the brothers will have to go through because it's gonna come a time where they're gonna come up against us. They don't want us teaching the truth. Wow. They're gonna take us off the internet. That's why I was saying we gotta be careful what we say on the internet because they can take our video down. Yeah. They're gonna take us off the internet, they're gonna take us off the streets, they're gonna hunt us. Because they economy gonna get so bad, they can't do nothing to the Lord. So they never been able to do nothing to the Lord, so they take it out on his people. Wow. So they gonna come against us because they can't touch the Lord because they mad, because wow. he's taking everything down bringing flags on them so they're going to come against the people we're going to become enemies of the state because guess what we're not going to take that chip right. if we don't take that chip we're going to become their enemies right. everybody that take the chip going to be good everybody that don't take the chip they're going to come after them. yeah because if you don't take the chip then you're going to be prophesying against them yeah. right. right and then that's going to be coming against they um they whole agenda yeah they agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and they're going to come against let me read this with the chariots to break it down to you second kings 2 I want to start at verse 11, straight to the point. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire. That's what it's called. A chariot of fire. A chariot just means vehicle. So it's a vehicle that the angels travel. Right. It says, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. 
So if something caught the chariot means vehicle, right? Will will vehicle. So if a will vehicle pops up in the sky, right? And Elijah and Elisha is speaking, and this will vehicle pops up. Being you speaking right now, will vehicle pops up, and it parts us, separates us, right? And then it takes me up into the heavens. What you call that? What would the world call that? Abduct I got abducted. Abduction. I got abducted. You gonna say he got abducted? Right. Then the police come down. What happened to him? You gonna say he got abducted? You gonna say they gonna think you crazy? But you gonna say, look, uh, alien? You gonna say the aliens, or you gonna say a UFO abducted him into the sky? You gonna say, I swear, you gonna say I seen it? It was a ship, it was a spaceship, and it took that brother up into the sky. That's what you gonna say? Right. They gonna think you crazy? You lying? That did not happen. Yeah. You gonna say pull the camera footage from the emergency thing, and you gonna see him go up? Right. That's how the elect's gonna be saved. Right. The Lord's going. So when we hungry and we feel like we gonna die, the Lord is in a chariot, beam you up into the sky. I mean, as a matter as we speak, and this is very spiritual, because as we speaking about this, if you look up, it's two rainbows. It's two rainbows circled around us all the way up. Yeah. If you look all the way up. Oh yeah, yeah. See, that's the Lord. Yeah. That's the Lord. Now, now let me keep going to break it down. I'm gonna run it back to you just to break it down. It says, then it came, came to pass. Yeah, spiritual. It says, uh, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire. That's what they're called. Chariots. Called. And it's a movie. They make movies called Chariots of God. It's a movie called Chariot of Fire. Yep, yep, yep. Because they know, because like we said, they, they read the Bible. Least, they read the Bible. They know. Yeah. They're they not just, creative, They don't they want us to know. Movies and shit, right? yeah. But how do we know? We ain't know from learning from them. We got the spirit. But I don't know too many black folks that don't read the Bible. Yeah. Here, let me keep going on it says, and the horses of fire imported them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. He was abducted by UFO, what the world would say, but he went up into a chariot. The same way Yahweh Shai, he went up into a cloud, and a cloud received him. That's it's, it's a UFO, but we know what it is. It's a chariot of the Lord. It says, and Elisha saw it, and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, not the chariot of the whole world, of Esau, of Moab, of Ishmael, the chariot of Israel, there, there for us. That's our army. We don't have power to fight against them, jet versus jet, missile versus missile. But we got a power with our Lord. When we come back to our Lord, we have the more advanced power, which is the of hosts, which is going to destroy that war in Revelation 19. That we talk about. It says, and the horsemen thereof, who is the horsemen thereof? Angels. It says he saw him no more. He went up into the ship. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. So it goes on and on the whole story. But I want to get another account for you. Just to just to kind of prove it to you, you know. Yeah. Uh, Who would have ever thought? Well, coming from my point of view, that UFOs was that big of I just like you said, I just thought it was something that they didn't yeah, think. I've seen a UFO. Yeah, you thought it was some type of invasion. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like some type of terrorist and I didn't invasion. believe in it. I just that's thought. what they got you to think. Right. And that's why the, yeah. and well, I didn't believe in UFOs, period. Yeah, and right. that's why the Bible people was say, Just like we see the two rainbows in the sky. Okay, you was up last night and you saw something that you yep. that you yeah. never seen before. Yeah. And, and now you go, I seen a UFO last night. Okay, right. whatever. Man. And this is why, and that's why the Bible is actually important. It's in the Bible, it breaks it down. Right, yeah, I would have never you known know. that. Now, um, now when the ships come, you gonna know. Now, everybody else might be like, it's aliens coming. Yeah, right. You gonna know, them ain't aliens, them the angels. Right. You ain't gonna be, everybody else gonna wanna fight against them, join the army to protect Earth. Right. You gotta protect human species from the aliens of Right. But yeah, you know, you gonna know. That's the Lord. Lord joined, that's yeah. the Lord and the angels. Wow. Come to save us. No, now. Wow. And see, that's Get the big thing. Here. The churches don't want to teach you that. Because right. they're going to be together against the Lord. Wow. But we, wow. the real Israelites, we going to know. And then we were hoping for salvation. Call us up to hopefully let. Let me read you this account. Um, show you, you know, they could show themselves to who. You say, why don't nobody see them? The people see them, but they can't really make it out. Because they could show themselves to who they want to be shown to. They cloak themselves in the clouds. A lot of times in the Bible, they call it a cloud because they cloak themselves in the cloud. This is um, 2 Kings 6, starting at verse 14, straight to the point. It says, Therefore sent he to um, thither horses, chariots, and great hosts, and they came by night and could pass the city about, right? And when a servant of the man of God was risen early and going forth, behold, a host could pass the city 
both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Because this whole host, this is real like the horses on the ground with the wheeled chariots behind them. An army came up against them, the same way that army's going to come up against us, right? Now watch this. It says, And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. So the, the servant, the man, and he's saying, Look, how, how are we going to defeat this army? We're going to die. What? How many of them? Just him and him? Yeah, then he answered. Then he answered and said, Look, I'm, I'm gonna read it. Alicia, Alicia said, No, we got more with us. Right. Yeah, we got a bigger army with us, but you can't see it though. Right. But watch this. It says, um, and Alicia prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord, so Alicia saying, Look, open this man's eyes so he can see what army we got with us. Same thing I'm telling you. It says, And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around about Elisha so the whole mountain was filled with chariots they're invisible they cloak themselves the Lord got that technology it, isn't these guys trying to make that technology they getting close to it they can cloak things make things blend in so if they could do that imagine with the Lord he way more advanced so he got that technology so so the Lord opened the the you know, man's eyes and he was able to see all the UFOs wow. so they had this whole army that was coming against them they didn't even know the UFOs was there to help them watch what they do it says and um when they came down to a militia prayed the Lord prayed unto the Lord and said smite this people while pray thee with blindness and he smote them with blindness according to the word of militia so we we um trying to be like militia you know when they come up against us we pray to our Lord Yahweh Bahashim you know, praying for help, and then if we be those men, the Lord gonna help us. He's gonna save us, He's gonna stop us. You have a whole army coming up against you. They gonna come up against the Lord, but the Lord could, He can take out the whole, all the armies of the earth with one chariot. Wow. Now there's millions of them. There's now, chariots bigger than the earth. On that statement, this is something that's intriguing to me. Powerful as the Lord is. Like you said, you take out all them armies with one chariot. Why do we have to, just like the earth, like it is now? A big question for me is, God is so powerful, why does he allow all this to happen? He ain't allowed, he created all this to happen. If you a director, right? right? Why? Now, now check this out. If you a director, you make the movie. That makes sense though, don't you? Now, 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 yeah, now check a, this out. That's a typical question. Good question, good yeah, question, right? Yeah, typical question. Now but check it's this a, out. It's so real when you think it's like, why do we, for example. That's, that's <laughs> like you asking, why did the director, you seen um, Avengers End Time with Thanos snapping, the, you never seen that? Um, you seen, um, you seen, we said, um, what's that, with Will Smith, the uh, in, Independence Day. Independence oh, yeah, Day. Independence you seen Independence Day, right? That's the same thing as asking the question of why did the director write the movie that way? The Lord wrote the movie that way. He wanted it to be that way. The Lord controls good and evil. Right. I mean, but yeah, but it's such a, a, a Jehovah Witness told me this and stuck with it. She didn't believe that there that uh, there was a hell and that people would burn for the No, because the word hell means grave. It's okay. just talking about a grave underground. People think we call that to be hell. Get that well, you believe there's a bottomless pit for, for, for people who don't go up and burn for the Get that in a keys to the ask us to They gonna be cut off. They're gonna die, but they gonna come back in the kingdom. They gonna inherit the kingdom too. They gonna come back. They gonna be born back in the kingdom. So the elect that save, the one third that goes into the kingdom first, which up right? Say? Um, the keys to yes, this is twelve. They gonna be like the first fruits of the kingdom. They gonna be beamed up into the chariots. They gonna come back down with the Lord, destroy the armies of the earth, take rulership of the earth. They gonna have sex. They gonna have wives, and they gonna have babies. And those babies, those spirits of the Israelites that did die on this side, are gonna be. Back into those bodies, you see. So they're going to inherit the kingdom. 
the other nations are going to slavery the same way we're in slavery. That's righteous judgment. We had to play our our slavery. It don't matter if you was righteous or not. Then you was thrown into lions then. We had to go through slavery. So the Lord said he going to take them and put them in slavery. And then after their slavery, they're going to be able to go back to their lands that they inherited. But they're still going to be in subjection to us because we're going to be kings on the earth. We're going to be in rulership. The correct order of the earth. And a lot of people don't understand that. Got now that? check this out. Let me say this real quick. Now this is crazy because this was the first thing this is one of the first things that popped on my head this morning. Yeah. And I was just like what I said, why does the Lord allow this to happen? And I thought of Hitler and the, and the Holocaust. All them people that he killed and all that, but then they say, well, sin is a sin. A, a mass murderer can still go to heaven if he gets saved and believe, you know. If the Lord elects him. But yeah. what you're saying is whoever perish be innocent. Nobody, if, if any one of us died, none of us is innocent. We all sin. Right. So it's whoever the Lord has that grace on, whoever the Lord forgives. And that's why we're trying to work out our salvation. Get that. But you see what I'm and saying? It, no, that's like yeah, and another thing, the Lord could have prevented that if he wanted to. But like you say, that's we, how we he wrote it. the move. We finna Just get like it. you were saying, right? Um, this is the Lord's move, yeah. right? Yeah. And the reason why he's allowing so much, like to what you got questions for to go on, is because so his name can be glorified at the end of it all. Just like um, in, um, in Egypt. Huh? Yeah, that makes, I mean, yeah. that, that does make sense, but it's a heck of a cost to pay as a as an individual yeah. down Verse here. Seven. You gotta this work is, out uh, your salvation so you ain't got to do it. Ecclesiastes no, 12. I mean, the people who didn't get a choice in the matter, like the killer broke in their I'm house and just that. butchered them to death. Because yeah. the Lord sent that. That was a hit. The Lord took them off. Right. So there be Whatever he did, we don't day. know. Yeah. Whatever he did, Whatever he did to offend the Lord, the Lord took him off. So when people die, when people go, we just pray the Lord has mercy. That's what the Lord is doing. We just pray the Lord has mercy. Ecclesiastes 12, right, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who have it. So when you die, that's what happens. The dust returns to the earth. Right? The spirit returns to the Lord. All spirits go back to the Lord. He sends those spirits back generations on earth. After generation, he sends them back reincarnation. That's difficult. Right now, um, here, get this one. How you read it? Um, man, I'm gonna have no, to get it no, for I you. I thought person. that when you die, <laughs> yeah, like I they always off. say, you <laughs> die, you go to a resting place. Not yeah. necessarily that your spirit goes. You just are, are just dormant, more or less, until the Lord comes back. Well, in a, in a way, in a way, your body goes to the grave. Now right. you could say you talking about the period of time from when you die, your spirit goes back to the Lord. I don't know. I can't tell you what that period of time is. I can't tell you if you die and your flesh goes into the grave and then your spirit leaves your body instantly and go back to the Lord. I can't tell you if it goes back to the Lord two days later. I can't yeah. tell you if it goes back to the Lord a month later, but all I know is that the flesh, the dust returns back to the ground and the spirit goes back to the Lord. You going back to the spiritual world. If I had to guess, I would say that when you die, um, uh, it's tough because I mean, you got Lord, the resurrection. I mean, the Lord, how was shot, he rose the third day. Yeah. So if you want to go off anything, you go off that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the big picture is, is your spirit is going back to the Lord. Right. Right. When right. you die. You're not right. going to be underground in hell. But you said it went back on the third day. It wasn't that it just did. It's the Lord made yeah. it come back yeah. on yeah. the third day. Yeah. up on the third day. Yeah. That was his book. Right. Okay. Um, Romans 9 and 1. I got to get it from the I book. say the this truth. Is this is and one. This is the chapter. I'm gonna just all I'm gonna just read it verbatim, you know, because we yeah, don't really deal with the word Christ, but you yeah. know, just so you can have a better understanding. Um, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost oh. that I have great heaviness oh. and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accused from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption. So he said, according to the flesh, is talking about seed, we come through the same sperm line, the bloodline, we go back to the man Israel, which is Jacob. His name was changed to Israel, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. So he's talking about who his people is, he told you who his people is, who are Israelites people. And the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law. Verse 4. Who are the Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? So you know what pertaineth means. 
-hmm. right? If something pertaineth to you, it's yours. Right. Like, my garment pertaineth to me, this is mine. It's not mine anymore, it's mine. Right. So this pertaineth to only the Israelites. And the glory of the covenants. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to read. Read it verse 4 again. Sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and they, the covenants? They pertain to adoption, the glory, the covenant, old covenant, new covenant. How can you be saved if you're not going under the covenant? It only pertain to the Israelites. Keep going. And the giving of the law and law, the, service the service of God yep. and the promises. So the promise is the promise of the kingdom. Who is it for? It just said it pertaineth to only the Israelites. Come on. Keep going. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is who is over all. Who did he come for? He came. He came for the Israelites. Exactly. And who is over all? Who? The Israelites. Keep going. God bless forever. Amen. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Mm -hmm. Neither because God, the tears. Right. The the tears. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? Wait, but, wait, wait, let me bring that down because a lot of the Christian church, Catholic church, they tell you if you just believe, then you are the seed, or you are, you could be a part of the promise, you're a right. part of the body if you believe. He said not because they are the seed of Abraham, because Abraham had many kids. It's for the Israelites only two going to show you. They are, they are the seed of Abraham. They are all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So now it's not anybody that comes from the seed of Abraham. Now you got to come from Isaac, Abraham, Isaac. That keep going. Right? That, verse 8, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. All the other children of Abraham, those are children of the flesh. The children of God is the one that comes through the seed of Abraham, Isaac. That keep going. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. But the seed is about the seed. It's just speaking about the seed. It ain't just anybody on earth. It's the seed. It's a certain bloodline, sperm line. Okay, so that don't seem. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a Bible scholar or nothing like that, but that don't seem quite fair. Now, oh, I'm happy you said it. Lead that right there. Keep going. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Does it? Uh, do you agree though? If, if you on the outside looking in, you hear that, you say that ain't right. Anybody? Can I would. I would say. I would say who's to say what's right or wrong? We go. The Lord tells us what's right. We only go off what the Lord say. He created us, right? He created the earth. So how can we tell the creator that created us in the earth to be what he wants it to be is wrong? Right, but right, well, how can you go by a book when you look at Mormons, for example? Mormons are known are known to change the scriptures on stuff to where it suits them and benefits them. They change in the understanding of it. We Translation. Can, we, we read it. Right. They no, tell you this is I'm what this means. What they, they said that they, I read this. They, well, they actually physically the changed it in their Bible. They, they did that when we were in slavery. They had a slave Bible where right. they changed it and took passages out to make it seem like something. Reread read the whole Bible. That's the difference. Okay. They go off the whole Bible. And, and to answer your question even more, like this translates back to the Hebrew, to the Hebrew scrolls. Right. Now, I can't, I'm not a Hebrew scholar, but there is Hebrew scholars in the camp and amongst the brothers and stuff like that. I could speak a little bit of it, but even if I spoke it to you, you wouldn't understand it. If we came back out here, we look, this is the Dead Sea, this is the Hebrew scrolls, right? And we read in Hebrew, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it translates into that. Keep going. Keep going, he's going to answer the question. Verse 9, for this is the word of promise, at this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Right, so Sarah had a son, keep going. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, Yep. For the children being not yet born. So Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Jacob, the name changed to Israel. That's where you get the Israelites at. Neither having done any good or evil. So you, so as, so not only can you be, you have to come from the sperm of Abraham. Then you have to come through the sperm of his son, Isaac. Now you have to come through the sperm of his son, Jacob. Keep going. To be chosen. That's the right. That's the yeah. Keep going. Right. That's the purpose. Going, yeah. No, that no, the purpose we, we of God out. according to election might stand not of works. According to election, not of works. But of him that called it. Him that called it. Why? Because him that called it. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. It was said unto her, the angels, the messengers, took that message from God and said her. She could say, I don't want the elder to serve the younger. But what did the messenger say? What did God say? As it is written, Jacob have I loved 
but Esau have I hated. Wait, do the Lord hate? Then he hated Esau. Ooh. Jacob have I loved, and, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? What you about to say? For is unrighteousness with God? Right. God forbid. God forbid. For he say to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Why is it? Does and he have I, mercy on whom he want to have mercy on whom? And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. You have compassion on whom he will have compassion on you. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that sheweth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Yeah, because Pharaoh and them got destroyed, Egypt got destroyed, they can say it's not fair. Right. That I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. He destroyed them because he showed he glorified his name, like the brother been saying. Glorify his name by destroying them. That's why he that's why he raised up America to be his great. They ain't get this because you think like men just created this on their own. Yeah. They didn't get this. The Lord gave this to them. That's he gave them the technology. Creative. So if I give uh, you the I technology. Don't think man can make this. Yeah, yeah, so the Lord gave them the understanding to make this. So he can do what he wants with it. He wants. So when he destroys it, that's because he he the builder of it. He built this. He Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, mm -hmm. and whom he will be hardened. Thou wilt say unto then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but O oh, but O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing form say to him so, that are we gonna reply against God and say right. what you, what you was getting to say, which I know you don't know, right. but I'm just breaking it down for you. We gonna reply against God and say this, keep on. For it, why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay? And the answer is, is you say, well, why did he make some people and he gonna destroy them? Or right. he made them to do that and be wicked and destroy them. Does not the potter have power over the clay? Does not the director have power over the movie, the script he will do? Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor. The same lump, we all humans, right? But he made one vessel to honor the Israelites keep going. And another unto dishonor. He made the other one to dishonor. That's the clay. That's their character. They know in the movie Avengers, he set up to be the bad guy. Right. Thanos can't turn around and say, director, why did you make me the bad guy? He, the director created him to play his role to be the bad guy. He created Iron Man to play his role to be the good guy. Right, keep going. Iron Man can't say, I want to be a bad guy. No, you were created to play your role. Like what if, are. verse 22, what if God willing to shew his wrath and to make his power known endured, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath Fitted to destruction. They fitted for destruction, but it's, the Lord is long suffering, so He let them have the long. To us, it seemed like a long time. They've been ruling, they've been over us, we've been here in America. But the Lord is long suffering, but He got them fitted for destruction. All this is leading up to their destruction. Okay, and let me ask you this right quick. He can't wait to do it. He can't wait. <laughs> let's, let's, let me ask He's you this. Okay, so the only people that can be, that can, the Lord will call home with Him has to be born from Adam. Abraham, Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. So now let's say a person, one of them guys, mm -hmm. they they down with what you're talking, and they want to join and get in, mm -hmm. and then you tell them, can't do it. You you wasn't born from the seed of, of these three guys. So it's still, what it's do still, they it's do? Still Just still edification in that in. though, right? Because they have come in thinking that they could be saved. That what you think that the Lord gonna come save everybody, right? Because not everybody read the Bible. So they, no, not everybody, it's just the people right, so that's who what, believe that Jesus right. is. But what you're going to say is, just because they believe and feel that the Lord is coming back to save everybody, and they believe in what the scriptures are saying, that that can make them part of salvation. Right. But it can't. It's only for the, but it's two they'll learn that. But, but, it's two things but what do they do? Just say, oh, wow, I don't have a chance. And just yeah. say, oh, well, I might as well go out here and be as destructive as I can be. I would say it's two things because our spirit bears witness, right? So we were scattered amongst all people. So them brothers may look like Edomites or Caucasians, right. but they come up here and the spirit bears witness and they come uh -huh. into this thing then we're going to let them in the, in, into this thing. Right. We don't know. They may be Israelites by blood. That's why I said it's been mentioned, They may be Israelites by blood, so we got to bear with If we know if they spirit bear witness with our spirit, then they probably is Israelites. 
but you know I'm, what I mean? Right, but I'm saying, let's say y'all, we go through So we know that, that they're not Israelites, right? There it is. So they eat mice and they other nations. We gonna tell them, and that's another reason why we're out here, for two reasons. To edify our people, wake up our people, and to show the other nations that judgment that's coming. Exactly. And we're that's gonna tell I them, said, like, look, this is what's coming. Because we, remember, we're messengers of the Lord, set up to be prophets, hopefully elect, okay. hopefully prophets. So uh, you, you gotta get uh, on that message. You feel like you're missing my point? No, because you're saying, what if they go out there and do what they're going to do? Well, the answer to that is, that's the Lord's will. No, 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 if they, no, if they go, if they, if they say, all right, fuck it, we can't be saved, we can't do this, we're going to go out here and just murder, we're going to go out here and just no, live no, it up I and be saying that is. Let's just say they just, go, I did say that, but let's just say, they just say, oh, well, we don't stand a chance, we just going to keep living our lives like we've been doing. We're nice people, I don't bother nobody. And, this, and that, that's you know, where we labeled as hate groups for those type of people who be giving that, that that information to that they didn't know, right? And it seemed like we coming off as hate, but all we doing is reading out the Bible, but they didn't know that it was in this because they never read that deep into the Bible. So that's why you see where, you know, we could be- But you can't, that's, you can't label them haters if- uh, the about us. I mean, say, hey, that's what I mean. Y'all label them hate. No, they, no, they, they label, label us, us oh, because they we tell them that they can't be and saved. They, they right, and look, uh, look, let's, we, say for, let's say, use me for example. Yeah. Let's just say, I know what kind of person I am, what yeah. kind of guy, and what I believe in, what I don't believe in. Yeah. But if I, if we do the history on it, and you say, well, fam, yeah, I'm sorry, blood, uh, you just don't, you wasn't, you didn't come from them seeds. I'm, just like I said, example I use with them, I'm just be like, oh well, well, uh, I guess I have to wait and see because. What you should do is try your best and see, but you ain't gonna be able to see by taking a DNA test or nothing like that. It's about the spirit. That's the part that you miss, and that's the big part. And it's not just you, and that's okay. But a lot of men miss the spiritual part of it. Gotta, it all goes back to the spiritual part. That's better. That's more important than the flesh. Yeah, so your spirit gotta bear witness. Is your spirit like the prophets and the man of the Lord in this Bible? That's right. the question. Are you walking in the ways of the Lord by following law, statutes, and commandments? Are you doing what they was doing? That's, that's all about the spirit. Because all yeah. Israel are not gonna be saved. Exactly. So right. it, it don't matter if you is an Israelite or not. You still might not get saved. You gotta be elected to be saved, and we gotta work out our salvation by reversing the righteous acts. But yeah, our thing is to rehearse the righteous acts. I mean, all the law statute commandments, we can't keep them perfect. But we're trying. And then the Lord is the judge to say, okay, you're going to get saved or not. Right. You see what I'm saying? So even if you say, all right, I trace my lineage back. I'm not an Israelite. I believe I'm an um, Edomite. I would say you can still be wrong, bro. So you should try to see your spirit. And you got to put up the good fight. What is, what is that? Is that first thing? No, that's 2 Timothy 4. Get that 2 Timothy 4 or Paul. Um, I'll be the first. So you gotta, so you gotta put up a fight, you know? And you gotta come in. Well, like you said, I did. I, I checked all my, crossed all my teeth, dotted all my eyes, and I, and I, let's say the Lord spoke to me himself and said, hey, you, you, you didn't come from that, so, uh, I mean, that's, that's the Lord's will. I would say that you, you then I would be just like what the examples I gave earlier with Hitler and all. It just wasn't, just wasn't. And I would say that you can't possibly do that because it, look, it's the spirit. You ain't gonna be able to possibly trace your lineage back to say you go. To, you might trace your lineage back and say, okay, I got my great 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 grandfather is a Caucasian man, and you may say, look, if this ain't for me. I'm a Caucasian. Hey, I was gonna say, he but probably then, is. But then what? But then what about his great 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 grandfather? Probably was a Negro. Yeah. Which is an Israelite, so right. you can't trace it back. That's in, that's endless genealogies. So you okay. have to go off the spirit. Okay. So now, with that being said, you a Jake? I can tell the spirit. Yeah. Uh, a Jake, which is short for Jacob, an Israelite. His name is changed to Israel. Remember what you yeah. just telling? So that means is that good? Yeah, you yeah. an Israelite. I can tell by the spirit. Oh, okay. Because okay. you you wanna know how? Because right, your yeah. spirit bear witness with our spirit. Right. I don't have to know you know your whole life. I I know your spirit bear witness with my spirit. Okay. I know you can feel me. You know what I mean? I know I can feel you. That's because our spirits is connected. Wow. You know, you're That's why you out here. That's why it grew. Yeah, because I, when I, believe it or not, when I was, I got up and I was like, go to church. I thought about going to church. I needed to shave. I need, long story short, looked at the clock. I'm like, I'm not going to run into church. That's like, great. I go out there with the brothers and see if they out Because you ain't going to get, yeah, no, yeah, get these go. answers at that church. <laughs> no. You ask the pastor, the preacher, he not going to answer none of this. You ask him, is UFOs in the Bible? He going to tell you no. If you ask him to prove that it's UFOs, he not going to break down none of that. Right. 
Right. We giving it to you straight, and that's the difference. We reading the Bible to you. Yeah. Like, well, you got to go to the Bible, them. study in order to be able to ask. And questions. it's one of certain things you can ask. Like you said, yeah. If you ask some so things, he's going to call you in the office like, bro, why did you put me out there? Why are you trying to throw me on the bus? Yeah. <laughs> you going to fuck up my congregation. <laughs> you, you, if you keep asking, he's going to ask you to leave. So yeah. He's not going to ask you to leave. You can ask any question you want. And we gonna answer it to the best of our abilities. Yeah. You know? And you gotta I think those pastors they getting paid too, so they they not gonna let you come in there and you know because that's that's feeding them. And right. they getting paid. What you think they gonna do when the home market of beast come to chill? Exactly. They gonna take it. Yeah. And they gonna yeah. tell their congregation to take it. And they probably gonna be having it set up in the church where you can come and get it. <laughs> yeah. Come, come like get it up here. here. Uh, like <laughs> all the things do. If the blind lead the blind, they should surely fall into a ditch. And that's yeah. gonna happen now to answer your question. What about those people? This blind that's just following their leader, the pastor. What's going to happen to them? Yeah. They're going for that. That's the Lord's will. That's the. That, that's what we call it. The elect. So you have to be elected. Yeah. The Lord is electing you, and the Lord is guiding your life. Wow. He's guiding your life up to this point. Everything we've done in our life has led up to this point of us being here today, right here. Wow. Same thing with you. The Lord is guiding the elect. So you, a lot of Christians and Catholics, kind of think of self-will or. Pretty much, um, what, what is it called? Um, pretty much, you could do what you want. Presumptuous. Yeah, but really, we, we ain't stuff with everything is pre preordained by the Lord. Right. Yeah. Your life is already set by the Lord. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. Just like his yeah, it's, 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 it's said that in the scriptures. Like your life, all we doing is going through the motions. It's going through the motions. It's it's said that in the scriptures. Man ways are of the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Man ways are of the Lord. Right. He seals the instructions of the man. Um, when they sleep, he seals your instructions of what you're going to do the next day. He yeah. gives you those thoughts of what you're going to do. Right. So when you wake up with an agenda for the day, the Lord is putting those thoughts in your head of what you're going to do. Right. Man don't even understand that because his son, the proof of that is his son, when he walked and came on earth, everything that he was going to do was prophesied about before he came. The, all the prophets of the old prophesied of this man coming, the Messiah. And when he came, he fulfilled everything that was prophesied about. Right. So you have a thing called prophecy. Prophecies is like time stamps in history in the future. So these prophecies have to happen. The MOTB, there's a certain time set up where that thing's going to come. That has to happen. So that's how we can kind of tell, like, okay, we're close to the end because we're reading the prophecy. Okay, this prophecy has already happened. This prophecy is right there. We can see it coming. So that tells us, okay, what's the next prophecy? The Lord coming. So we right there at the end. So if you go home and you look up on YouTube on um, Sweden, micro, uh, microchip in Sweden, you're going to see that so many people over there in Sweden get that microchip. They using it to um, get in their offices. They using it to get something out the um, the vending machine. They using it to ride the train. They using it to start a car. They get in their car, they swipe their hand in the car store. So they using it to get in their house. They go to open their front door. They ain't got no key. They just swipe their hand. Yeah, where is get it at? Sweden. Yep, look up Sweden. I know they, got, they ain't got the chips here yet, what, like in your hand, not that I know They of. got them here. They got them in some, some populations but they, too. Yeah, yeah, but I know they got stuff like for your job, because my sister is in the nursing field, and they got a thing where, like, like your phone, where you can't open the phone up unless I put my fingerprint, yeah, unless it's my face. And they got a thing where they literally had to put their eyes up to this thing yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and then the door opened. Up, and that's all leading up to that's leading up to that yeah. to that chip they gonna get you the chip everybody gonna go for it and that's how they gonna be able to control you they can shut your chip off they can shut your whole life off yeah. and anytime they can control you they put it in your mind they can control your thoughts how you act and if you choose that then you choosing them over the lord right. so we gotta have faith we gonna choose the lord and just let the lord say we're gonna put all our faith in the lord and he gonna do the work for us for us after that you know what I mean? In the world that you, they're going to be destroyed. Because if you take the chip, you can't defend it. Once you take, like, it stands, you can send me and this brother can stand on, we could be, we could be forgiven. But if you take that chip, you can't be forgiven. Of. You made your choice. You choose your side. So that's why I'm so thankful that the Lord is doing that. Because there's so many people that ride the fence. Your Catholic church, or Christian church, or Baptist, Jehovah Witness, they ride the fence, right? right. But when this chip comes, it's going to make you make a choice. Yep. You're going to have to make a choice. Ain't no more, I follow God. You God knows my heart. We're going to see who really follows the Lord. Right. When your life is threatened that you're going to lose your life if you don't take this chip because you can't eat, you can't get drink, you can't get clothes, you can't live, you can't be in society, or you're going to say, and you're going to see a lot of those people, they're going to fold. They're oh, going to yeah. choose the side of man. They're going to be over here taking the chip. Then you going to know the main the Lord's people. And right. then you're going to see a lot, you're going to see some people, not a lot, you're going to see minority people 
you that's gonna say no, nope, I'm not gonna take that shit. I'm right. following the Lord. Right. You can see them out here in the wilderness, but you just seen them a month ago. They were living it up, had everything they ever wanted. Then you see them again, they looking rough. Uh, you seen the uh, movie Book of Eli? Yeah. yeah. The Disney yeah. Washington? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Where you think they got that from? Right. They ain't make that up. They got that from the Bible. The Book of Eli. Right. It's a book, a special book. That's just a play on the Bible. Oh book. yeah, I knew that when I first heard the title. Yeah. I hadn't even seen the previews yet. <laughs> book of Eli. I was like, oh yeah, I know that's gonna be some biblical. The Eli was a um, high priest, um, Levite. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, um, I guess what's that? Judges. Judges and Daniel. Yep. So it's just a play on the Bible. So a lot of people say we don't mess with the Bible. We don't fool the Bible. That's man written. But then you go out in society and everything else that you do is based off the Bible. All the music they speaking about the Bible, the top music, um, the movies is about the Bible. The people that rule, uh, rule the world is going off the Bible. Everything is set up off the Bible. So my grandma used yeah, to say that. The Lord's movement. Rest her soul. But my grandma used to say the Bible is your is your map. Life. Yeah, guys. You read your but your guy. Yep. You read the Bible, it'll get you through life. Yep. And it'll save your life. It's, it's, it's the schoolmaster. That's why you gotta. That's why we follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Like we have a Levitical. Um, we got a dietary law that tells us what to eat. It's a guide. The Lord created the earth. He created everything on the earth. So He told you, look, this is what you should eat on earth, and this yeah, is what you should to be healthy. So we was fall. telling me that not too long ago. Don't eat nothing, cause you know I told you I had the cancer. Yeah. But she real believed she got it on me like, well you don't eat no pork, do you? I said, shh. Not supposed to eat pork. I don't know. She said, got catfish. Not supposed to eat catfish. Not eat catfish. The Bible tells you, like in the Old Testament. Yeah. She said I only eat the foods that have a split in the hoods. Yeah, and and then out the sea, how many things with fins or still? Yeah, split yeah. in the hood, yeah. yeah. Cow, and part of the cubs like that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, and I said, well, I tell you what, I tell a rabbit up. Oh, <laughs> but give me some gravy and some rice and biscuit. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not supposed to eat the uh, <laughs> <I know>. rabbit <laughs> and uh, pork. So I get, I, I make the Muslims mad. But, but me guess what? Fair kind, me and fair kind be having barbecues all the time. Yeah. Boy, that nigga be ready to fight when you say it, that. It is sad to say that, but then that's when it comes to whoever perish being innocent. Yeah. So if you do perish, then you can't. We can't say you innocent. We can say, look, man, this guy a good man. Yeah. He came out here and talked to us. He had a beautiful spirit. He a good brother. He could break bread with us. There ain't no strife. But if the Lord, I'm not saying this is gonna happen. I'm just giving you an example. But if the Lord takes on a brother like that. To say, may the Lord have mercy on him. He an Israelite, may the Lord have mercy on him. Whoever perished being innocent, because you knew. Right. So everybody know, you know, but you making a choice right. to, to say, look, I, I'm not gonna follow that. So when the Lord judges you for it, then you can't be mad about that. That's what this all breaks down to answer your questions that you have. Yeah. You know, everybody know, you know, you know, but or if not, then we telling you, maybe the Lord have you up here for us to tell you those things. Like Leviticus 11 is the dietary law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, that that was back to what I was saying when I got on the bike. So I was like, well, Lord, I'm not gonna make it to the to the church today, but uh, may I have church while I'm riding this bike? Yeah, you didn't you didn't come up with that thought though. No, the Lord put that thought in your head. You're exactly. The, the and then where did I end up at? Right here. Right here. The Lord put that thought in your head. You thought, okay, let me go to the church. The Lord put that thought in your head of, I ain't gonna go down to the church. Right. The Lord said, I don't want you going down church. I want you going down here. Yeah. One of you, you gotta find out why the Lord is bringing you down here to hear this truth. This right. is the truth of the Lord. I mean, a lot of people don't look at look at us as a body. You know, the blacks or the Negroes, the Israelites, they don't esteem us, or they don't think we hold any weight. But this is the truth of the Lord. Yeah. And it's gonna come right now. We down low. Yeah, yeah. He down you bear witness. You could come down here and literally get edified. Yeah. Come some brothers that's you know ain't really got nothing to do it, but we younger than you. Right. You know what I mean? But you it don't matter, we just giving you the word. Exactly. Yeah. We ain't trying to make you do anything. We just and giving I can, you the word. And that's a beautiful thing. Funny you said that because you wanna push somebody away. I try to force them to church, force them to get saved right now. Man, that stuff had me like I'm cool. Uh, I mean, not that it's a bad thing, but right, 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 right. just give me the word like y'all doing word. and give me the option. Yeah. Let the love, but don't think, you die right now, where you going to go? <laughs> All that old type of Yeah, stuff. you ask a question, we just go give you the answer, and then you can take it for what you want. Hello? 
stuff like that. Hey, we we gonna wrap up. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, we gonna have to get uh, uh, chapter two next week. Yeah, we gonna have to do Revelation <laughs> chapter two next week. We gonna come uh, with it. It's coming. You know what I mean? We gonna start it back over and come with it. Yeah. That's just how it is. The Lord didn't want us breaking out Revelation chapter two. Anyway. Just how we telling brother. That's what people gotta understand. If you take anything, church. it's all the Lord's story, man. The Lord dictates yeah. everything. Like we read in Romans. On chapter nine. Damn, um, yeah, Seth will. I'm missing a word for what um, the thing is, but pretty much, you know, the Lord ain't want us breaking out Revelation two today. He want us to break down some. It's, it's presumption. It's presumption and when they say you got um, free, will. free will. Yeah, free will. Yep. You yeah, don't free have free will. will. <laughs> free will is not real. The church tell you have free will. You don't. Everything don't. is set up by the Lord. He says the elect was ordained, roughly paraphrasing, before the beginning, the foundation of the earth. So the elect for the destruction that's coming was already chosen before the earth was made. So that means the Lord made the ending and the beginning at the same time. It's like a circle. He made the ending and the beginning at the same time. So we just live in any. You see, but the Lord, he already seen the end. That's why he was able to give the visions to the prophets of the end because the Lord already seen the end. It's exactly. already made. He don't, he, he's not constrained by time. We are, but the Lord, he, he can fast forward to the end, he can fast forward to the middle, he can fast forward to the beginning again. Yeah. You know, so what you about to do tomorrow, you already seen it. Yeah, I've seen it over and over and over again. Over and over, you ain't surprised with nothing. We just don't know. That's the scary thing about it, and that's why you're supposed to fear the Lord. You always got to have that fear in the Lord. So, hey, this is a very edifying camp. We answered some questions that the brother had. You know, we're going to end it off with that. We're going to say Shalom, shalom. We're going to give our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, and Kavadash. Salvation to the blood. Shalom.